at least it's MMT8, and this is the second video for Unfiltered Audio's Spec Ops. And in this one, I'll be dealing with voice. All right, let's jump right in. And the most obvious effect here is pitch shift. All right, before we get to pitch shift, let me show you this sample. It's just a straight ah female. Okay, and let's just rip through the... Uh, the pitch shift and the stretch, all it does is the pitch shift does what you think it does. It shifts it down, but in increments of one semitone. Pretty good, pretty solid. And stretch does the same thing, just without the increments. Very smooth. And so if we take a shift up, and a shift down. We get the original sample back, as you would think. And that holds true if we went up here and did geometry for compress or expand, it would sound the same. And also you can make some really nice harmonies because the stretch is very precise. Watch this. Let's add back in the original. Very nice. All right, now let's move over to slide. I cannot tell you how many hours I have lost using slide. It's just crazy. All right, what they say slide does is it's an inharmonic frequency shift. Um, but what I like what I like about it is the graphics. What it looks like that it does is it slides all of the frequency bins low off the scale or high off the scale, depending on which way you go. Let me show you. See, and that's out of frequency range low or out of frequency range. Hi. Now, because it's smooth, you can actually get this thing to sit in. So if I wanted to try to recreate the C pitch, I can do that effectively. There we go. So there's the original C. Now the difference is she's singing ah. That sounds more like an O to me. So it imparts a character to that sound. It's just very cool. And we mix the two. That's great. It's just awesome. Um, and so what I did was I was going to just mess around here and try to do things on the fly, but I was spending hours doing this. So I was, it's more effective to do presets. So let's do this. The shuffling is glitchy. That's what you're hearing in here. Now, if you like the glitchy effect, but you don't want as much of it, just pull the speed back to smooth it out. Now, of course, you could also change the window. Okay. Pretty simple, just took an LFO. Modulating slide down, I also have a slide up. It's the only two effects. I 
Now this was cool because I came across this by accident, of course. You're spending 10, 15, 20, 30 hours on this thing and you come across things. As the volume increased, it created those rattles with the flutter. As the volume drops, it smooths out. It's like, oh, this is interesting. So does that mean if I increase the volume, I'll get more flutters? And it does. So obviously if I pull it back, you have less. <laughs> this, this is so cool. As the volume increases, you start to get gaps in the sound, but as the volume decreases, it smooths out very much like steam. So if I increase the volume, you get more gaps, and they'll last longer. Very good, very good control over this. I'm just using the input follower to drive the slide. To make it sound like a harder breeze. Now keep in mind, this is only with a straight ah sample. It's not with a phrase, it's not with an entire lyric, it's not with drums, it's not with the guitar, it's not with the synth. Just start plugging those sounds into this and you you can do tons and tons of stuff. It'd take you years to go through this and I don't know why people haven't seen this or people haven't recognized the power of this creativity that's sitting in here. Um, it's not just a washy effect. This is very, very deep and it has a lot of applications. And to that end, Spec Ops can be reverb-like. But of course, it is not set up to act like reverb, so you're going to get a much different character out of it, which is a good thing. But before we get too far into this, I know that people spend some decent money for presets and patches, and I've spent countless hours tweaking parameters, so please indulge me if I cover up some of the effect settings. I mainly want to show you how this software can produce amazing effects on vocals and to listen to the unique character that it imparts on the audio. All right? So what do we have? We've got four phrases. The first one you heard at the beginning of the video. We're now on phrase two. All of the phrases have a little bit of reverb on them, but here's phrase two without spec ops. All right, and this is the first preset. I'm just going to play you two for this one. Oddly enough, an effect that this plugin does quite well is whispering. Take these two examples, for instance, from a gentle, almost kind whisper to a haunting War of the Worlds type effect. Here's the phrase without spec ops. Now with the effect added in.
another strange effect that I've come across are random notes that it can produce based on frequencies fed into it and a small FFT size. Here's phrase four, unaffected. Now look it, as my father would say, look it, if you tweak enough, you can get some really cool reverb-like settings. But the only reason I came across this was because I was diddling with the parameters endlessly. There are combinations of effects that you can use to really hone in on what you want to hear. Honestly, you really have to keep your ears open when you're using Spec Ops. You just never know what you're going to come up with. And I love stumbling across effects I wasn't expecting. It takes me back to the old synth days on my monopoly. The second patch in this set has a really cool tail, and it's much more interesting to me than a straight reverb. By the way, this vocal was recorded without any effects in my studio. Enjoy. Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. Birds fly. Now for this last one, I have six patches that I want to run through. They range from pretty to pretty unusual, but the main thing I want you to take away from this is, I had an idea, created something I liked, tweaked it, poked around with other effects and settings, and came across another effect I wasn't looking for. And I just kept doing this until my eyes started to bleed and I had to call it a night. <laughs> so here's the first patch, which is kind of delicate and wine glass-like, and I'll mix the effect in after a second or two. You control me passively, I'm where I want to be, you can take me anywhere, I wouldn't care. There's a great background wash in this one that's essentially not present in the original signal, plus the occasional glitches. You control me passively, I'm where I want to be, you can take me anywhere, I wouldn't care. And Funeral Voice speaks for itself. You control me passively. Well, this this one's just odd. You control me passively. I'm where I want to be. You can take me anywhere. I wouldn't care. This one's pretty complex in that there are several kinds of voices happening as you listen closer to it. Whisper, metal, buzzy. You control me passively. I'm where I want to be. You can take me anywhere. I wouldn't care. 
This is also complex, but has an odd beauty to it. You control me passively. I'm where I want to be. You can take me anywhere. I wouldn't care. Thanks for watching, and look out for the third video where I deal with synth lines.